Thank you. I have a question about the Willow Project in Alaska. What's more important to President Biden, improving energy security or reducing fossil fuels? So, first of all, um, it doesn't have to be uh, one or the other. Right? Well, we can said. try to be dope. In 2019, I guarantee you we're going to end fossil fuel. So this project would just be dead, right? So here's what I can say about that. The president uh, did meet with the Alaska delegation uh, last week at the White House. Uh, he always appreciates uh, uh, me speaking and meeting with the full delegation to understand what their concerns are. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave it there. Um, and when it comes to that specific decision, that's something that the Sec Secretary of Interior is going to make. Uh, so I'm not going to get ahead of, uh, of where she's going to be. But the President has met with the delegation, and I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, and another subject. How worried should Americans be about China spying on them here at home? And what do you mean specifically, Peter? Well, there were the Chinese spy balloons. And now there are these Chinese spy cranes. The Wall Street Journal is comparing them to Trojan horses in use at 80% of U.S. ports. So let me first say that what the American people could be assured of is that this president is going to protect them uh, and making sure that we put our national security uh, first when it comes to um, uh, when it comes to uh, anything that they feel uh, could be uh, could threaten that. And so, and the president has shown that he's shown that over and over again. So, on on the cranes, don't have to uh, don't have any comment on that specific reporting. I would refer you to the Department of Transportation uh, and the Department of Defense, who've been uh, tasked with Congress to study uh, this particular issue. The National Security Council, in close coordination with the Department of Homeland Security and Department of Defense, Coast Guard, and members of the Intelligence Community, have been actively working to address potential cyber vulnerabilities across the marine transportation system. This includes enhanced coordination across the federal government and engagement uh, with key stakeholders in the maritime industry. And just last month, the administration issued a worldwide maritime port vulnerabilities advisory underscoring the potential threats posed by foreign manufacturer port equipment. So uh, again, this is something that the president takes very seriously and uh, will always take action to make sure we protect our national security. And if this is a Department of Transportation lead, does Secretary Buttigieg have experience it's a, with it's, it's not just a, it's not just the Department of Transportation. It's also the Department of Defense. Okay. Thanks, Green. Um, has 